uh, I'm not a forest, first of all, I'd like to say that I'm not a forest person. I've been working largely on irrigation and water management and to that my exposure has been towards tribal irrigation and tribal agriculture. And there I could find that why in fact tribal people are not able to or do, don't consider investing in their land uh, for agriculture improvement because of in fact tenure security. If they own the land, they have the ownership, then they in fact think of investing it in uh, developing the productivity of land in much more in fact they are much more involved in it. So through that I entered into in fact how the forest right act is a very uh, important act in the country is is helping uh, tribals to in fact um, have ownership of land. Land is central to most of the tribal people because they are very close to nature for their livelihood and sustenance but their ownership access and use rights have been very much restricted traditionally and they have been subjected to land alienation and evictions and this has to do with their continuing poverty, exploitation, migration and destitution, destitution among tribes. A forest rights act, it's a path breaking act has been to do undo, undo the historical injustice as it says to assure recognition and transfer of life. There are individual land rights as well as community land rights and it assures kind of a paradigm shift in poverty reduction, social welfare, their protection as well as environmental conservation. And there are in fact the, their recognition of rights and the participatory framework are the major uh, crucial elements of the rights and the local labor organization called Gram Sabha has been given this uh, is the key institution for this participatory framework of conformment of rights. And access to land rights is the cornerstone of FRA besides the conservation and other aspects. And last two days we have been discussing the different achievements of different states, how it has been being implemented over different uh, last uh, uh, 10 years or 9 years. Uh, many states started way, uh, quite late. Some of the states are doing, uh, going ahead in distribution of titles, individual titles, though the community titles are very less. Uh, but many states, key tribal states, uh, tribal popula population dominated states like Jharkhand is, is not doing well. That is major concern. And all this data is not, is, is a kind of pinch of of the total thing because we don't know the impact in what is a total potential. There are numbers but in fact uh, that needs to be in fact looked into how much of these titles are part of the total universe or the potential land that can be transferred or that are available that can be made available. So success rate is the kind of regenerational whatever data that we are getting in from the, uh, the ministry of ministry data. But actual, in fact, journey is, is far ahead to be covered. But there has been institutional bottlenecks. I have been asked to, in fact, focus on, on the institutional bottlenecks of uh, what uh, of uh, FRA journey. And there are regional studies and reports right after uh, first two, three years of implementation, how it's not, in fact, working well or there has been lack of preparedness of, uh, before implementation. So uh, in Western Ghats, Mr. Satyapalan reported that FRCs are not being properly constitu constituted. There are practical problems of different ecological uh, settings. They, they live in different far-flung hamlets. So the, the committee meetings were not being organized properly. A study also highlighted administ administrative bottlenecks because of lack of coordination among uh, government departments and each department has in fact they are rigid about their stance and uh, what has been their mandate and then can't go beyond it. So silo like structures are be working and FRA is trying to be uh, implementation is being negotiated between or among these silos. Then the West Bengal case uh, also informs that there been institutional tinkering so kind of adjustments have been made where grams in fact, the uh, FRA talks about independent gram sabhas uh, to implement uh, or as the key institution. But gram the gram sons of the local uh, gram sons has been replaced uh, as gram sabha in uh, in West Bengal. This has been reported uh, through studies. 
and these changes have been made also in the structure of FRC where it has been placed under uh, our Gram Unnayan Samiti. So uh, a people body has been placed under a, a, a official bodies. So the actual purpose or the vision is, is gets in, is strangled. In Andhra Pradesh also, uh, Mr. Gopinath Reddy and the team studied and they in fact uh, found out that much time has not been given, give, was given for formation of forest resource committees, their empowerment, transfer of knowledge, how, what they are going to do about it and how they will be in fact managing these resources. So a very hasty uh, formations of, of institutions was reported and this, this study also tells us about this so lack of coordination and transparency at various levels and the continuing dominant role of revenue and forest department which have inhibited democratic FRA implementation. So, and the claim, claim is, is in fact, uh, is, is the key that has been, and now we have to think in terms of perspective of tribals. We are talking about a community, it's not urban communities, so we're talking about communities, illiteracy, lack of awareness, and they have been asked to put claims. And, and in a setup where there have already been kind of lots of mistrust with the community at the, and the borderland or in the forest, uh, tribals have been living and doing agriculture on forest land and they have always lived, been living in a kind of mistrust that when their land will be snatched. In this context, I had in fact, I, I was doing work in Jharkhand uh, in few, uh, few blocks and there I in fact did uh, this um, uh, FGDs among and uh, among communities that why this, what are the issues uh, they are facing. and. Jharkhand should be one of the uh, uh, states where, uh, because both tribal is a tribal population is high as well as forest area is also is high. There should be much more, in fact, faster uh, implementation, but that's lacking. And among uh, many of the tribal community, they are not ready to talk about it. There's some some sense of, in fact, fear and suspicion. They don't want to talk about it, and. This general lack of inf information and awareness uh, granted um, under FRA, and usually there is a piecemeal information. And what one thing I could in fact infer that they shared fear that if they take initiative for land, they might lose the peace they are right, in fact, uh, whatever they are doing. So they were quite silent about that. And they also, uh, in fact, there was no organized awareness campaigns from government side. And in recent years, this before FRA, their land is already already in fact been in different in fact conflict with state government, primarily with forest department. In recent years, in the same uh, villages, forest department has taken initiative for afforestation over land already being cultivated. So this has led to disputes and lack of trust. So it has already been a bone of contention. So the the we should in fact see the people we are talking about. The, the kind of, of awareness and, and the, the, their fears. So the, their community perspectives should be in fact, uh, in fact incorporated. In uh, one of the hamlets, they have, uh, one thing I could see that wherever some, in fact, NGOs or, or the or civil society organizations are working as a bridge between forest department uh, or the government and uh, travel community, they are in fact, they have, in the, they have shed some inhibitions. Otherwise, it's mostly they, they are uh, more suspicious. And it's one of the key factors is, is submitting evidence. So, the evidence by whom illiterate community, in fact, the large illiteracy, fear, and, and they have been put up in a case where they have to put up a lot of, of uh, which is not very, in fact, concrete evidence. So, wherever they have, uh, submitted their claims, they have tried to put everything. So they attach Hukum Nama, survey maps, revenue receipts between 1956 and 2008, records of Gram Sabha meeting, every identity proof. So whatever in their world they have, they try to attach just to in fact uh, see as uh, uh, to fulfill their needs. And I, I gathered this uh, uh, to see the tribal perspective 
in fact we should uh, in fact have a look towards this in fact part of a song from uh, of, of the local community and how they see the evidence and how they see their tribal uh, their own lands the song go, uh, the english translation would read like that we have snatched the field from the jaw of the tiger and fang of snake we have plowed the and sown sing bonga sends the rain and the sunshine what has diku done that we should pay him anything the burial stones are our title deeds this is in fact at a hap cry of a hapless community where in their way they see their burial grounds as their as because they have in fact taken land out of forest so that micro perspective we should have when we are talking about governance is is not one sided it should be how tribal so see their land so jharkhand is is one of the lagard city people have submitted their claims they are waiting usually is a one or two day of verification where the entire team government machinery comes for the verific verification process and 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 does it so uh, that this tribal perspective i wanted to say uh, uh, put before you another is the community forest thing uh, individual rights earlier they were not thinking in terms of community forests they were mostly in fact submitting claims for individual but gradually they have realized that if we they they own everything so if they try to in fact ensure the community rights their individual rights will also be in fact get strengthened so their ecology uh, they it's not only about private property if they want to save their livelihoods the ecological uh, conservation is also important and there is a route through communist forest right but here also they need uh, support from civil society organizations <coughs> i also got an administrative perspectives where there has been largely a withdrawal from different department forest department saying that we are not the parent department minister the tribe welfare department is saying that we are just a facilitator between revenue department and the uh, and the forest department we don't have the data of land we don't have uh, people to uh, in fact survey uh, so is is a kind of this tripartite arrangement between uh, forest revenue and uh, uh, welfare department so forest rights act which is which in fact can be a very imp important tool for providing land and in that way sustenance and livelihood to tribals has been in uh, it's a good step towards recognition and access to rights but within the 10 years of implementation this it has already charged, started changing the ground rules tribals are in fact submitting claims itself is a a big uh, uh, positive move and many states have gone ahead in distribution of titles also but slow progress by tribal dominated states is a big concern and the if you can in fact put up some in fact concluding remarks that it has largely been impeded uh, the journey has been uh, impeded by the implementation bottlenecks like delay in execution plural multiple legal structures administrative apathy institutional complexities and lack of coordination institutional structure designed for decentralized governance show evidence of inadequate preparedness capacity building and most most important thing building of trust the removal of apprehensions or the fear among tribal i i suppose uh, is is would be the first in, should be the first step and added challenge of this also there for implementing community resources and conservation rights through the awareness and role of community leaders as well as civil society organizations would, would be very crucial in raising awareness building environment of trust and effective implementation thank you <laughs>